What if I told you that your sales team could be missing out on hundreds of thousands of dollars in deals per month? We've been seeing this recently with clients. It's a huge gap in their CRMs and their sales team processes. And so we're going to use a real client dashboard to show you the opportunities that are being missed and how you can solve that. So let's dive in. Hey everyone, I'm Dan Saavedra from Merger Data, and this is day 36 of 90 of the YouTube Sprint on Signal Analytics. And today we're talking about how your sales team could be missing out on hundreds of thousands per month or more because they're missing out on this one set of opportunities. We see this gap all the time with our clients. They're working really hard to sell the initial deals and work with their clients to get results. And then they're forgetting to do this. And so we're going to use a real opportunity, or I'm sorry, a real client results dashboard today, a couple reports that show exactly what this could mean. And so usually when we're talking about this setup, this gap, things are going pretty well for the client already. And so they're not even paying attention to this additional set of opportunities that leave hundreds of thousands of dollars on the table per month or more because things are going well. Why look, right? And so if you don't have this one set up, you're missing out on a huge chunk of revenue. It's something that we're going to cover here. So even if you think things are going well, pay attention to this. Before we get into it, this is all about signals, right? As a refresher, signals are made up of four different things, attribution, unit economics, dimensional data, and conversion optimization. All of those things combined make up a signal or a data point that shows you a prospect is likely to convert or not likely to convert. We want to get rid of all the noise and find those specific data points that are going to tell us the most about our prospects. And so that's what we're looking for here in this situation as well. And so this is a top signal that people miss out on. This is what the gap is. It's expansion opportunities, not upsell. So we're not talking about when you're on a call with a client and uh, discovering additional opportunities and additional services and products that you could upsell them on. That's a completely different signal. We're talking about expansion signals, existing clients who are now ripe for additional products or services or more of the same thing that they're already doing. And so these expansion opportunities, the signal that we see the most success with is your life cycle stage is equal to customer. So they're a customer, obviously. Your results with the client are high. You have measurable results that show that they're happy and that it's impacted their business in a significant way. And then that company's growth is also high. So either they're hiring more people, they're expanding budgets, their revenue is growing, whatever the metrics may be, they have to have high growth. You have to have good results already with them. They have to be an existing client. If all three of those things match up, it's a great signal that you can bring this up or that the client will bring this up discussing their other problems or their other things that they want to tackle with you. And so this is a great opportunity that a lot of people seem to miss out on. They're always focused on the net new logos, on closing clients, new clients, but they only focus on expansion opportunities when it falls in their lap. They're not actively looking for it. It's not included in the CRM automatically. And so this is a huge opportunity to pick up money that's literally just laying on the floor. Your existing customers should be your easiest customers to sell more to. Not because you just want more money from them, but because you can genuinely help them because you understand them deeper than some new vendor would, right? You have a relationship, you have results with them. And so two, you have to know the messaging to get more business. Which pain points did you unlock with your previous work that you can now address with an expansion deal? If you have a good relationship with the customer, you're having meetings, or you know exactly what to look for once your service or product is implemented, then you can see which additional pain points you're unlocking and can now be addressed by additional products or services or more of the same. Let's say you are a marketing agency who has been so successful with your client that they're now expanding to new locations. Let's say they're a location-based business, right? For this example. And so now that they have new locations that are going to need marketing, they're going to need traffic, they're going to need awareness, you can now expand your services to these new locations, sell them more of what you did with their first stores, their first locations. And now you have expanded your relationship with them. 
you're making more money, and you're not just letting them flounder with those new locations and risk not succeeding. And so the story here is that if you are along on your customer's journey and they're fighting through the jungle, you're alongside being a guide, helping them cut through the brush, helping them navigate, and they got to their first destination, and now they can see the next destination on the map, you need to continue to be their guide and continue to provide them guidance. And this is what the expansion deals are. Three, you need to offer more of the same or a new product or service. We covered this already. Once you know the pain points, you know if you can offer more of the same or if you have an additional product or service that fits these new pain points. Depends on how your business is constructed. Could be one or the other. Four, automate and track. This is something obviously that we implement as well. So not only do we do these first three things for clients, but we help them automate and track this. But you can do this internally if you have someone working in your CRM. If you have customer success data flowing back to your original deals, you'll be able to see when clients are ready for expansions. And so then either a customer success person can directly trigger an expansion deal to be created or from meetings and properties that are collected from these meetings, you can trigger expansion deals to be created for your sales team or your customer success team to then expand on your current relationship. So let's dive into the actual client reports that show this exact thing. And so with this client, we had been working with them for several years, had the initial signal analytics work done. They saw great growth. And so they thought everything was going well. And now that we had knocked out the initial signals for net new acquisition, we unlocked the next pain point with them that they have customers that they're really successful with. And they're looking to take these customers to the next level with more of their same offering because they're helping them grow. And so now there's new opportunities on the table. They had no way to track this. Some customer success people were realizing this. And so this is when we built out this new setup in the CRM, this new approach. And so you can see here that when we launched in December, we had an additional deal come through. Let me actually refilter this. So this is the total number of expansion deals only. These are not net new. And you can see that it took a little bit for momentum to get going because we had to make sure that we were collecting data correctly from existing customers. But once we did that, you can see the spike here and the total number of deals that are closing that are expansion deals. And so these are typically larger in size than your initial deals. These are businesses that are on the up and up. They give great referrals. They give great testimonials and it just builds on itself. And so you can see that in the beginning it was a little rough, right? Four opportunities, only one closed, not too many. And then all of a sudden here in April, we really got things dialed in and we had our biggest spike. And so this is a little bit of backlog clearing up, right? Going back through your clients and seeing that they were successful. And then it's once again, returning to more of a linear type growth. But the key to this, this graph with this client is that the total amount of closed one deals was 75,500, but this is recurring. This is a recurring amount of revenue every single month for them. And so when we're talking about $75,500 per month, that's an additional, I think 900,000-ish dollars per year in recurring revenue. So they unlocked almost a million more dollars per year by just looking for expansion deals. They were successful with clients and they expanded their services to more locations. Same services, they didn't have a different product. They didn't have a different service. They just expanded it to new locations. Almost a million dollars per year just by implementing this one signal automation and analysis. This is the power of signal analytics. This company added a million dollars in revenue, very low effort, didn't have to pay to acquire these leads, didn't have to do all these discovery processes with net new logos that you typically have to do. They instead said, we did this correctly. You're growing now. Want to keep doing more of this with us. This is the power of signal analytics. 
And so hopefully that really brings it home that this business overall was in the lower tens of millions in revenue per year. And so that was a significant percent increase on their overall revenue. It was a really quick unlock. You can see the growth there once we released it. So if you found this useful, if this is something that maybe you want to do in your business with your team, I ask you to take one action, share it in a company chat here, show them this video, show them that this opportunity might exist. Obviously, if you have questions around how to build this out specifically, or you would like experts to come in who have built this many, many times and implement it in your business, book a call with our team and we can handle that for you. Next video, I know I said measuring dark attribution channels on the last one was the next video. It was not. This one was more urgent. It was something that we looked back on and we're like, oh crap, this was really successful. Let's throw this in there in the next video. So we'll do measuring dark attribution channels on the next one. Uh, two things, subscribe on YouTube or via the link in the description. If you subscribe via the link in the description, you get the free resource signal constructor tool, build out all of the signals and the actions that your team needs to take based off of those signals with our workbook. Got great feedback on it. You can put a signal like expansions in there. It should be a, one of your signals. You can use the criteria from the video and then have the action of scheduling that next meeting for expansion opportunities with your clients. I'm Dan Savedra from Merger Data. Thanks for watching.